<laughs> What's up, pay setters? Check it out. I promised that I was going to be the person who always had the clean car. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, my goodness. I hope y'all are awesome. We are here, and I cannot believe it is the end of September. Happy hump day to all of you. So, I just have some thoughts tonight to share with y'all, and I want to just really raise the bar and... um really challenge you, I hope, um, just in some of your thinking and also in your action. So, Pace Setters is really designed to scoop up the girls who are wanting to set a new pace, okay? So, think about a pace car in, like, NASCAR. Think about the pace car. You don't go around the pace car. You don't kick the pace car out of the way. <laughs> what do you do? You follow in line, right? You stay behind the pace car. You literally kind of like get in line, basically. And so I wonder, Coral Confetti, medium nude old liner. And I'm going to fancy Nancy just because somebody's going to want to know. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I want to, to challenge you that if you want a new result, the pace at which you're moving has to change, okay? And why is that? Because as someone who... You have been getting these results with this activity, okay? You've been getting these results with this action. So your direct results, okay, are in pretty direct proportion to what action, activity, whatever you want to call it, that you have been doing over the last 90 days. And I'll be honest with you, some of us wouldn't like that. We're like, mm, I don't want that. I don't want this to be my results, right? So I got a question for y'all. So how easy is it to look at successful people and we want what they have? We want their results. So one thing that I learned a long time ago was a lot of times people will look at someone who is successful and they, yeah, but, right? They go, yeah, but. She doesn't have this situation. Yeah, but she lives in that city. Yeah, but her husband is nice. Yeah, but her kids aren't this or that or whatever. And I just want to tell you, something that I decided to do a long time ago was to really assume that she had it harder, that she overcame more. She started with less. She had maybe more self-esteem issues to overcome. Maybe she had harder to figure out. Maybe she, I don't know. But that wasn't for me to figure out. That was my assumption because then it didn't make me weird. So, or feel like, mm, I mean, yeah, but, right? And it almost is like we take away all of that grit and all the hard that that person walked through. And we're just like, yeah, but you don't understand my story. It's kind of selfish and arrogant of us to do that, isn't it? And I used to do that. It's so bad when I actually like say that out loud. And so I want to challenge you. When we, when we look at someone else and we think she's cuter, she lives, you know, her family's nicer. Um, you know, she has a smaller waist. She has a better personality. That's comparison. That's comparison. And comparison, you guys, leads to what? guilt, shame, lots of frustration. I don't know if y'all saw what I posted. If you haven't, I hope that you'll go find it. But I said that guilt is never gonna, you're never gonna change out of guilt. But self-love and wanting to heal, that will spark more change than guilt ever will. Um, 
because the desire is rooted out of love and guilt is not going to create lasting results. So a lot of times when we use negativity or guilt or whatever to try to like motivate us, it kind of works for a minute, but it's not so deeply rooted and internal that it really creates lasting change, right? And so when I look at someone and I compare my work to her work, that's not comparison. That's actually conviction. How's that for a new thought for y'all, right? That's not comparison. That's conviction. And so when we look at, oh, she is working this much and these are her results. I remember Lindsay Stewart said at her step two that my check was like 5000 or whatever and I was working a full-time job and I was doing Mary Kay. And she said, I think if I worked a fifth of how much she worked, I could make a fifth of what she made. And I was like, that is genius. So, so a lot of times we don't want to really equate the numbers to the numbers, right? And so I just want to remind y'all like this season is, it's a season for us of breakthrough. I have said, and I have claimed, and I be, I really do believe that our area is really in the middle of a God-sized like movement. We really are in the middle of some massive momentum. I mean, literally in four days, well, if you count today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days, there's a lot of cars being earned in our national area. There is a lot of new decisions being made. There's a lot of breakthroughs that are literally happening and unfolding right now that we're going to get to celebrate at Fall Retreat. And I, I hope that if you haven't registered yet, the t-shirt offer to get a free t-shirt with your registration, that's out the window, but we do still have seats available. So come, come and join us. Come be with us because we want you to be there. Okay. So why am I being like a stickler about this 30 faces? Why am I like, oh my gosh, we just move on already. Like, why will I not just move on already, right? And so I want you all to understand the basics because if you really want to change and shift the momentum, if you want to change and rewrite the story back to what I said in the beginning, I have an ulcer on the side of my tongue and I put these on it while I go in. Mm, it is not really getting it done. So I feel like I'm talking kind of funny. You are the giver. You are literally the one. I don't go into training very often to receive. Like as nationals, we're here to be the givers. As directors, you're showing up to give. And leadership looks a lot like sacrifice. It looks a lot like pouring out. It looks a lot like serving and washing feet. And I think sometimes we can be really frustrated in a season where we're growing because it's not always showing up on the school board yet, right? But you guys, y'all got to find a way um, to make sure that you have enough activity on the calendar. I mean, at the end of the day, if you want to rewrite the script, you want to set the pace, do you have the share sheets printed? 
And how many are you doing by the end of the month? That's the truth. That's the question. Are you going to find a way to finish? So everybody who finishes their 30 faces and 30 shares will be on stage at career conference. Fall retreat. <laughs> I knew it as soon as it was coming out of my lips. I'm like, wrong of it. Um, that that's who's going to be recognized. And that's, um, and it's going to be pretty monumental. I just want to see those of you who say things like, I want to move up. I want to be a director. I'm ready to earn my next car. Then we have to prove it. And who we're proving it to is not everybody else around us. It's to ourselves. We are proving to ourselves that we are on the cusp of a breakthrough, that we're willing to do something different, that we're willing to trudge sometimes uphill. And sometimes it feels hard, but we're willing to do it anyway. We're willing to see it through all the way. So where do I start, Holly? I, you know, I, I haven't gotten my faces done yet, so I'm gonna challenge you, find a way. Can you get 10 people on Zoom, three groups of 10 on Zoom, three different times between now and Saturday? Can you do a Zoom with five people? Let's say you got 15 in. Can you do five people on Zoom tonight at eight, tonight at 8.30, tonight at nine, and tonight at 9.30? Can you do that? Like, y'all, it's not, can I do this? But it's like, how can I figure this out? How can I cross the line? How can I create a new normal? How can I make this happen? How can I make this happen? And so when we make that decision to make it happen no matter what, then something happens. And I really and truly believe that it's the indecision that as the month goes, we let off the gas and we go, well, if it doesn't happen this month, that's okay. Day one or one day. Day one or one day. So if that's where you are and that's what you're thinking and that's where your heart is, then you have got to get decided. And I've always said, y'all know one of my favorite Holly Love quotes is when we are decided, okay, I mean, we're clear, we're decided. God will release his angel armies to go fight for your blessing. I believe that with every fiber of my being. I think it's true because guess what? We talk different, we speak different. We send out all the juju, all the cooties, all the conversations, everything is different. Are you saying it in every conversation? Every book and call, girl, I'm so excited. I have 17 faces left. I have 16 faces left and I know that's a lot, but I'm so excited. And I know that you have at least one friend that has skin, do you? Who is it? Can she come? Will she bring a friend? Like, what do I got to do to get y'all at my table on Saturday morning, on Friday, on Thursday, on Wednesday, whatever, right? So you have got to find a way. And so tonight, you guys, I'm not giving you any new information. I'm just going to ask you, what is it going to take for you to find a way? What is it going to take for you to walk out the commitment to finish your 30 and 30, to cross 60 for Mary Kay? What is it going to take for you to do that? Can you break your own belief barriers? You know, sometimes in order to have something we've never had, we got to do something we've never done. Have you ever made 30 live phone calls or sent 30 live voice memos or made a video and sent it to 30 live people and said, oh my gosh, this made me nervous. Let me know what you think. And send him a video. Hey, I'm so excited. Look at this picture. This is my free car that I'm earning this month. And we still have this, I still have this many faces to go. I still need this amount of um, sales. I'm working on this and just put it out there and ask for them to invest in your dream. we got to ask. So I'm asking you to print the 30 share sheets. One thing I shared with our directors today is at the end of the share sheet, I need to update this and I will. I said, ask her this question. If you say yes, what are all the amazing things that could could happen in your life. And she's going to list them off. And she's going to say things like, oh my goodness, my husband might not go to bed stressed every night. Oh my goodness, um, we might get to take a family vacation. 
oh my goodness, we might have money in savings. I might have extra money for groceries. We might not be stressed. I might have cash for this, or I could pay for horseback riding lessons. I really want to pay for that for my kids, but I don't have the extra money, right? So then the next question is not what's the worst thing that can happen. The question that you ask next is what is the best thing that could happen if you said yes? Like, just what do you think, like, sky is the limit, time and money weren't an issue? Like, what would be the most amazing thing that could possibly happen to you if you said yes to Mary Kay? Then, the last question is, how would you get all that? How could you have all of that if you don't say yes? And you sit and you listen. Y'all, when you're sharing this opportunity and you're willing to dig into her core just a little bit, you are going to find amazing new team members. And it's going to make your business seem seamless. It's going to be so fun. You're going to book from bookings. You're going to forget how much you loved to party your way all the way to a pink Cadillac. Party your way all the way to a free car. Party your way all the way to $5,000 cash in your safe for Christmas. Party your way all the way to a Disney cruise. Party your way all the way to a beautiful Chevy Trax. What do you want to party your way to? Because when we're willing to party our way there, guess what happens? Our passion is so high, y'all. We recruit because we are so in love with the opportunity available to us that people want what we have. So don't forget that your passion stays high, your commitment stays high, stay focused on the vision, stay focused on the course of action that you guys have to take before the end of the month because learning how to finish well, you guys, is honestly one of the greatest things Mary Kay has taught me because the real world tells us it ain't looking like it's going to come together. Really? I'm not going to, if I ain't going to win, I ain't going to play. Really? Like, that's a sucky attitude, <laughs> right? That was me. If you weren't going to give me a hundred, I didn't want to take the class. If I was going to get a 99, I don't want to play. Really perfection, obsessed with perfection. Like we got to find some joy in the journey and be willing to walk this calling all the way to the finish line. Speaking of finish line, the month ends on Saturday. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what amazing things are coming your way and really how God is going to use you in the next few days. Because here's what I want you to remember. And I've told you all this before. A goal with a deadline changes lives. True story. I love you all. I'm so excited about your finish lines. And I can't wait to see you cross 30 plus 30. Find a way. Find a way. Find a way. Find a way. Love you guys. Happy hump day.